This is a very brief introduction to Enchan, which is a, a series of uh, tools in a visi like format, um, which are designed for uh, audio work or multi-channel audio work. Um, they are very much sort of somewhere between alpha and beta version at the moment. They've they're certainly reasonably well developed, but um, they are still quite buggy. Um, in particular, the sort of saving of, of presets um, is a little bit uh, unpredictable at the moment, um, so needs a little bit of further work. So uh, bear with it. Don't use them for anything critical at the moment. Um, I'm kind of releasing them at this stage to hopefully get a bit of feedback and to see whether anybody is remotely interested. Uh, I've released these for or made these for my uh, students at De Montfort University to use. I hope they find them useful. Um, and as I say, I, I just thought others might do too. So, um, need to open up Max, uh, which currently is in demo version. Um, and uh, make a new <coughs> make a new patch. Um, right click as with the Visi objects, go to paste from and uh, go to Enchan clippings and you will see uh, they have been categorized much like the Visi clippings um, and there is uh, right at the top there is an instructions um, uh, uh, one uh, clipping um, which all that is is um, a large comment which gives you some instructions um, which uh, yeah you can you can do yourselves um, I will I will go through some of the, the main things uh, in this little video. So um, let's uh, make one. We'll start with a, what should we start with? Uh, Enchan Play, uh, which is probably not the best one to start with because it's one of the buggy ones, uh, but there we go. Uh, how many channels? Um, it just asks you how many channels you want for each of the objects that you make um, and you can say, okay, well, I'll have eight. So um, it makes your eight channels. The input and output objects, um, uh, although you would assume that something like play or um, the input would only have outlets on it, um, I've included inlets as throughs on this um, uh, just because it, it's, uh, well, you can see as you add more of these modules, they're gonna take a certain amount of screen real estate so uh, it might be useful to have throughs um, if you had something like an input in addition to this and you wanted to run it through. Um, <clears throat> the inlets and outlets on these are only for uh, audio. Um, there are no inlets and outlets for uh, control data, uh, but there are ways of getting control data into the objects in order to control certain of the parameters. I will uh, come on to that very shortly. Um, just very simply, making a very simple kind of configuration here, uh, we'll just make a uh, an output. So we'll do um, IO, there we go. Uh, so again, we'll have eight channels of output on that. Um, and you'll notice that it's, uh, it's basically allocating all of our uh, inlets on the, that, that object to uh, whatever outputs on your uh, sound card you want them to go to, um, so those you know, obviously can be changed. Um, and uh, for example, if you're working with a Motu 828, um, channels one and two are your mains, and then uh, your eight channels would be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we could do an offset if we wanted those to start at three, like that. So something like that could be could be useful. But it also has, and this is common to all. All objects, if you see one of these little circles, it's a default button. So if you click on that, it'll pop back to default positions. You'll find that on quite a few of the parameters. Um, there's uh, a preset um, object at the top of each or most of the uh, clippings. Again, I will come back to that in a minute. And similarly, there is a, uh, well, there is a, a little, um, there is this, which I will, uh, come back to in a minute as well. So uh, we will also make a uh, a volume object. So uh, let's use a master for now. And again, eight channels, and it gives me a uh, monitoring for all those eight channels, along with a volume control. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, it's not so much of a problem at, with eight channels connecting all of those together. 
Um, but uh, these objects will accommodate up to 32 channels. I will demonstrate very briefly. Uh, so uh, let's say I were to make a, a cascade or a biquad and I wanted 32 channels. I just put in 32 and it gives me my 32 inputs. Um, uh, that's for connecting uh, something like that to another object with 32 channels is going to be a bit of a pain. So um, I've made a, a sort of quick-ish way of doing that, which is down here, enchant x util, uh, and it's enchant easy connect. Um, and it may well be that there are more elegant ways of doing this, but this one seemed to work. Um, if you click on the top circle here, um, what happens is, uh, what I haven't, I, I pointed out one of these uh, these names here earlier. Now what these are are unique identifiers uh, for each of the objects that you've made, enchant objects that you've made. Um, and that enables you, if I say I want to connect from play zero, which is the top play object, to the master um, object, uh, I click on that and it will make connections. Now, um, for some reason, I'm not quite sure why, uh, but these look like um, control data connections. They aren't. They are actually uh, MSP connections. Um, as uh, but uh, for some reason it comes out like that. Anyway, they are MSP. Uh, we'll go from master to out and do that. And those ones are MSP. So uh, <clears throat> so that's fine. Um, and now let me find a, a channel. Client scope arcade will do. Um, and so if I turn on audio, whoops, interrupt patch again. Drag this into here. Um, it loads and we'll be able to play back and we should hear that, I hope. Yes, we do. Uh, you're only hearing the first two channels, of course, there. Um, so that works. Um, what this box is, is the waveform overview. Um, but bearing in mind we are working with anything between two, uh, 1 and 32 channels, um, I wasn't going to try and represent all of all 32 channels in there. So what I've tried to do is, and it's a little bit clunky, is to uh, do a kind of uh, mix down, kind of mix down of uh, of all channels. Um, I'm sure there's a better term for that. Anyway, if you click on uh, Alt and Command, uh, it will come up with uh, Calculate, and you can click on Calculate to calculate a um, a summed, there you go, summed waveform display. Uh, now that hasn't worked because um, with my eight channels it's asking it to do that too quickly. So what I'll do is change the, the read rate to four times and it should work. There you go. So it's now calculating a summed waveform of that. Again, it may not be the best way of doing this, but um, if anyone comes up with anything better, please let me know. So uh, that will now work uh, as it has, and you can also uh, you can, uh, start, start playing back from any point in the file, even if it's not, um, even if it hasn't actually calculated that part of the file yet. You, know, you, can, you can see what's going on. Um, so that's uh, some objects. Um, what else have we got? Uh, I've made a. Um, a uh, biquad object earlier, there's a cascade object, a basic delay object which you can explore. Um, there are, there's another volume object which is uh, the mixer, sorry, yes, the mixer object um, and that one in addition to allowing you monitoring option also gives you a, an independent volume control for each of those channels. So with the, with Enchan it doesn't necessarily have to be um, used for an explicit number of channels, it might be that it's just handy to have some kind of mixing um, device uh, that you can make extremely quickly and just kind of uh, connect up to whatever else you happen to have in your patch.